From the author that has appeared in Harvard, Business Week, TechCrunch, VentureBeat, and GigaOM, it's Larry Chiang. Here we are. This is Lecture 18, Roller Chang. Roller Chang is where we are doing something with innovation chasms that is innovative. It's a play off of the phrase blockchain, which is fraught and wrought and filled with friction. So this is a chasm that we're going to focus on. There's a chasm within a chasm. And the concept of roller chain is frictionless crossing of the chasm. So in lecture 17 and 16, we're talking about DJing and disc jockeying in chasms. We're talking about combining the energy of the previous chasms with our attempt in the year 2016, 2017, where this would be 2017 where this chasm here in the dotted line area, that's what you're looking at with a chasm that you think is in a vacuum. It is not in a vacuum. There are previous companies that do related things that are over here that cross this chasm back in, let's say 2003 or even the 90s, where your company whether you like it or not, is a sequel to an existing company because no company is truly massively innovative. And if you are truly massively innovative, you are actually too ahead of the curve. You're going to need to be a half a step ahead. And this is what VCs have told us since the beginning time. You wanna be a half a step ahead or a quarter step ahead. You don't wanna be five steps ahead. This is lecture 18, Roller Chain, where we're attempting to cross the chasm for a cadaver. The cadaver, of course, is the company that we are editing. The class is CS23 Edit, where we did not start this cadaver, but we're gonna fix it, we're gonna resuscitate it, and we're gonna give this dead startup CPR. Roller Chain is the identification of prequels, pre-existing momentum. My mentor, Mark McCormick, taught me that 90% of what you're trying to do that's innovative exists already. 90% also is work that you also have accomplished. This is under a hashtag LC, Larry Chang 9090, as in 90%, 90% I, LC 9090I. And Roller Chang is like Roller Chain. I had to sit in all these board meetings and people would talk about blockchain this, blockchain that, and obviously the sequel to bicycle blockchain distributed ledgers is roller chain where it's frictionless transfer of power between two sources so we're trying to transfer some of the tidal wave power which is actually a real thing transferring tidal wave power into helping cross the innovation chasm this is stuff that i penned under uh the sequel to Jeffrey Moore's book, Crossing the Chasm, which is crossing the chasm from the right. Roller Chain is the stepwise uh, culmination of lectures 17 before 18, 16 prior, and also in the entrepreneurship super model, which is lectures 13, 14, and 15. Those are the culminations of Roller Chain. To finish what we're trying to do with lecture 18, CS183. To finish what we're trying to do here is we're trying to solve startup death. This is the area where death happens. This is also death. This is 2017 for your Engineering 145 startup or CS183D or any of the CS183s uh, A through Z. Is you've got something that worked in 1991 and this chasm was crossed way before your attempt. This, so this is your attempt in the dotted line area where this is where early adopters buy, this is where innovators buy, and then you've got a chasm. And then this is where Main Street is. This is where uh, old people sign up for whatever, Uber, 
software as a service, CRM in the cloud. Just all the things that we take for granted uh, eventually gets adopted by Main Street. So what we're trying to do with Roller Chain is we are daisy chaining these chasms. There are waves and waves of chasms. And if you look at specifically any example, Startup has a prequel. Facebook, super cool company. That prequel company was Hot or Not, which is Hot or Not for Harvard students. Salesforce had Oracle. Oracle was super innovative at the time. It was outpacing and out innovating IBM. Apple Music out innovated the music industry. So these chasm crossings by daisy chaining uh, the iPod Touch with a music store or Apple with an app store. App store was initially developed by Mark Benioff, where there's an app store, an application store, and he invaded it by doing a user conference inside of a Westin hotel. That's another innovative uh, roller chain where you're taking your product offering and you're putting it in a user conference, which Jason Lemkin talks about, which is it's never too early to do a user conference where do you want to go to a user conference at a travel lodge or in a motel? Or would you like to go to a really nice hotel, the Westin Hotel? So your, so the Westin Hotel would be like, actually it would be 1991 because that's when they did the Westin Heavenly Bed. So Salesforce or Dreamforce, their first conference took place, Dreamforce, took place in a Westin hotel. So you're DJing things that are attractive to helping you cross your chasm. Same thing with doing pizza slices for lead generation, which uh, DocuSign did document signing via PDFs versus paper. So DocuSign actually handed out pizza slices of pizza at Salesforce conference Dreamforce. So DocuSign would be the dotted line area, this massively large chasm that's already been crossed would be pizza. Everyone loves pizza. Not everybody loves the thought of replacing paper docs with uh, DocuSign. DocuSign therefore takes this energy of, of work that has already been crossed and that in and of itself with pizza, lots of people like pizza, not a lot of people like document signing using DocuSign. So you take slices of pizza, you hand them out, and for every 15 people that eat a slice of pizza, five will listen to your story, and one of those people who listens to your story might actually help you cross the chasm, which is what Lecture 7 talked about and Lecture 6 talked about, which is trying to battle apathy. That's Roller Chain in a nutshell, where you're trying to look for previous chasms, previous work.